that would be our session file so we I would be saying session dot php php and I'm gonna say session start and guys if you remember once we were letting a person log in we were able to create two different sessions one was uh, the session of usual name and the other one is the session of level so i'm gonna copy it from here and i'll paste it to my session file okay and i'm gonna take everything off except this particular session username so i'm gonna say if is set dollar session username and dollar session username is not equals to no that means it do have some value inside it okay then only go ahead and create a new variable name it session name equals to dollar session username and session level equals to our session level else head the person back to login.php okay. like this login.php file or I believe we don't need that so inside my create post out here on the top I would be including this file so I would be saying scripts slash session dot php I'm gonna copy it and I will be including it here as well and I don't need any scripts folder because our create cat.php is already inside the scripts okay that seems pretty fine then I'm gonna say if SQL that means you are able to run that query go ahead and run another query that would be fetch then I would be saying my SQL query select all from categories auto by id decent get the latest one first okay my sql error then i would be saying while dollar row <coughs> would be equals to my sql fetch array dollar fetch now we will be writing some code out here but first i want to extract that particular dollar row now guys you would be thinking why i'm running the select query because we are only inserting the category to our database but uh, there is one problem guys let's see if you will only you know insert the category to the database then the person will never be sure whether that particular category is created or not until and unless they will not refresh the page and let's say you know you are already in the middle of creating something you know you're creating a post and you thought okay let's create a category first and uh, you will not see it then you will refresh the page and all the progress that you did uh, you're gonna lose it so what we would be doing is once we are able to create a category successfully we will get everything from the database the way we are getting here and by using ajax we will echo it out here so let me show you how we're doing that so i'm going to say extract dollar row uh, out here i will be grabbing this particular thing from here i'm going to cut it down i will come to create cat and i will be saying echo this I only need one because it's inside the value okay so we'll be saying input type checkbox the value would be equals to uh, dollar name 
okay and here I would be applying the dollar name as well okay dollar name that seems pretty fine okay guys let's go ahead and test it and see whether we will get anything or we will end up with some errors oh already there is nothing there is no script folder that's fine there is a script folder refresh okay here I would be saying category one okay I believe there might be some errors where it says undefined variable session name on line number and 20 and unknown column name in the field list my gosh okay, it's category name first it's not name I will be coming back here I will be saying category name okay here with the category name as well uh, category name as well then it says undefined variable session name I'm gonna copy it from here paste it here and we are including our session.php file yeah we are it's inside here it's here hmm. uh, okay guys Let's try it one more time and believe so we will not end up with any errors. Okay. So okay. Still there are some errors. Let's say this says undefined variable uh, session name. I'm not sure why it's doing that on line number twenty. Have we created anything out here? Yep. No, that's users. Go to categories. But there is one. It says, hey, I've been created. It has been created by. And there is no description. And I'm not sure why it's doing it. If it said dollar session username and username is not equal to no, you do this. And let's echo php echo dollar session name come back refresh <coughs> again it says undefined variable session name that means we are not able to create a session from here but if we are not able to do it then why it's not heading us towards the login.php file there's my login script. Just session user name. Session user name. Yeah. So it needs to be something like this. No, that's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna take the second statement off for a second, guys. Refresh. Still, it's not heading me towards. Because I'm not using location out here. Now I have been to the login.php file. Oh Jesus. And I'm gonna say admin. And admin again. I'm gonna log in now. Okay, I will be going to my posts. And I don't have any connections. Like I don't have any links. I will have to enter it manually out here. Now it shit says admin out here. Oh my gosh, that was my mistake, guys. Now we can, you know, make it the way it was earlier. So I would be saying location to login.php. And from here, I'm gonna take off my account statement. Now, what I would be doing it out here is <clears throat> what we were saying is if you are getting some kind of a response and the response isn't the right way it needs to be, then go ahead and, you know, echo it out here on the top. So I'm gonna come back where it says div ID list categories. I'm gonna copy it. 
let's say id in this category is dot html is equal to our response variable that we have to, I was going to create it as a response so response will be equal to xml http dot response text okay now I'll come back and hopefully everything will work so let me say category one no, it is XML. Okay, my bad. One more try. I want to refresh it first. Okay, I'm gonna say category number two. Okay, guys. Now let's see. We have all the categories out here. So if you are doing something and you created a category, you don't, you don't have to refresh your entire page this particular div will only get refreshed and you will be able to see your category you can click on and you can create a new post that we will be doing in the next video see you guys next time bye bye